Greetings, salutations, Cross Arc here, with back with another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. I'm doing alright for the most part. Though I gotta tell you, with the amount of stuff for this anniversary, my head is definitely having what is similar to a hangover or a headache. But we are here at the second anniversary. And as always, these anniversary events are very generous, I will say. Uh, login bonus up to 3,000 Jakuridite. In small increments over uh, like 10 days, I think. I, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Got also a bunch of other stuff, too. They've also included a few new... Let's see, I would say updates. Yeah, updates. A few overhauls. So that's always fun to go over. Now we've got the event that goes with the second anniversary, which is Nunnally and Wonderland. It was okay. It wasn't really my thing, but it was alright. Anyway, we've got a story, battles, and expeditions. And we've also got new expeditions, too. Ah, so much to go over. So many things. Oh, we got a new uh, MC pilot for the event. Male and female variations in not only in Wonderland. So always useful if you want to get one. But there is a lot to cover. We've also got some banners. Uh, side A, we've got Lelouch and Nonely. Lelouch, the Mad Hatter. And sort of a Cheshire-like Gawain, which looks pretty cool. The pink is not my favorite, but it still looks cool. We've also got Nanali in her Alice outfit. With the Mark Alice. I have to say, stats wise, not too bad. Sore on the lower side, but the range cover is pretty decent. From what I can see. And it appears to be a float type. Well, I'm not saying it flies. More like it's a range type. But I'll have to take a look. Well, looks like it is a float type. It looks like it's built into the skirt armor. Clever. But anyway. I digress. But their abilities are pretty good for the most part. I will leave a link into their character pages on at media site for you to take a look. Though, from what I've read and what I've seen, I would say that the Nunnally for this one could be a real banger. Or, banger? Yeah. But anyway, so much to cover. Oh, we also have a only scout for the second anniversary for Marion the Flash. She belongs to the royal family. Marion V. Britannia, Charles' wife. And let's see. For the most part, she's pretty decent. She sure does an acceleration and attack boost, which applies to her, uh, Lelouch, and Nunnally when they're in sortie. But she also has very quick, and as you can see at her max output, she's doing a lot of damage and she can attack quickly. So she's pretty good. 
A nightmare frame is pretty standard for the most part. But it looks pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of Cornelia's upgraded Gloucester and Kokios uh, Resurrection. It reminds me a lot of that. But anyway. We've also got a free pull for the second anniversary. Which is always a plus in my opinion. But we also got a step up banner with pay for security. Not my favorite, but if you got the cash for it, it does help sometimes. But remember, always pay, always, uh, always spend responsibly. At least that's what I believe in. And again, if you like it, you should go for it. If you don't, eh, it's always your choice. That's what I've always believed. Ah, we've also got new expedition events. Let's see, is there anything else I can think of? Ah, lots of stuff, let's see. Also, oh yes, some characters got their skills reworked. Let's see, um, Lush got a little bit. Uh, the first four star one. Uh, let's see, the C2 also got some reworking. The one in the Zero suit. Let's see, looks like there's one for Euphemia. Guilford in his pilot suit. I always like that version of Guilford. Let's see, uh, Shirley, the healer one, four star. Well, technically there's two. I would say casual clothing. Or a date clothing, maybe? I can't. Uh, so much stuff to go over. <laughs> uh, Cyborg Jeremiah prototype, I would say. Also, the Valentine not only. Huh. Looks like we got one for Aldrin. And the Bunny Colin. See. We've also got one for Valletta, gym teacher. Huh. Looks like we've also got some root work. Shell. Huh. Looks like you can get two now instead of just one. Interesting. Ah, looks like they reworked the Shen Hu a little bit. But anyway, I digress. So much to go over, so little time. So I will be breaking this up into two parts. First part, going over all the new stuff and maybe doing some pulling. And part two, I will actually be doing some battles. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, let's get some rewards. Hmm. That's a lot of cash flow. Not that I'm complaining. Cash flow is always a nice bonus. Okay. Let's see, um... Shall we go over? Well, there's a new paint mechanic. It does use its own type of currency. And it does affect most Nightmare Frame. Okay. There 
is stuff you can buy, which is in, let's see, Night Sortie. And there is a special icon you can tell when you can apply the coloring that you've assigned to her. So let's see, um, let's go with the Asmodeus, my favorite. And let's see, let's remove the red. I'm not sure I like the teal. Now it does work on some parts, not all. So there are a few parts that remain red. Just to inform you. And it does affect every unit slightly differently. It's always interesting to see how it affects a unit. Shade's not actually bad on this. I do think it would do better in a darker shade. Still, not bad. Or a white coin. But again, it's always up to personal likes and dislikes. Anyway. That is the new color changing. So, let us do some scout pulling because there is a lot to cover on this. Okay, first, we'll do the daily free pull. Because free is always a plus. Silver is nice. For the most part. Uh, anyway. Let's see. Alright. We got the second anniversary, and let's see. Out of 20, I have two attempts out of 20. So, it's actually not that bad. Well, let's see how we do. The You don't know what you can get sometimes. Plus, all reapers can be then used to uh, buy certain things. Help unlock other units. No, just remember, these are free pulls, so results may vary. And one more for today. Oh, yeah. 
But now I'm like, I did not have this version on this account. So that's a definitely a plus. Okay. <sighs> then we've got the Nanali and the Lush pull. And then there's also the Marion. Unfortunately, I cannot do the paid for Securitite one. <sighs> but that's life sometimes. But anyway, let's see. I'll do the Marion one because usually a single four star on banner pool has a higher chance of dropping. Statistically. Again, results may vary. You never know sometimes. Ugh. There is only one downside with her character is that her initial cough is a bit on the high side. Otherwise she's a fantastic unit. The Queen Glint or Yeah, Queen Glint. Interesting. I'm happy I could get her. So yeah, I am happy I could get her. Alrighty. And then we have the Lelouch and the Mamalee banner. Again, I'm hoping to get the Nanalee more than the Lelouch, but they all, they're both solid units for the most part. Very much like most of the other type of Gwains. The only difference is it's more cat theme. I do like the Luge Mad Hatter look. <laughs> and not only. Very adorable. Very adorable. Jokin was a bit of Korea, Sarita. I don't think we're going to get an upgrade on this one. Figured. And I do like this pull. Make sure you also save your security for the next banner because we're supposed to be getting the current Satan 8 element one pretty soon, if I'm correct. Well, it's either that or the Akito. Because we've 
also got that coming up too. Uh, it's always hard when you have to save Sakuradite. But anyway. One more and that's it. すでにチェックメイトだ。さあ、間もなく。綺麗事でせっかく。今日は特別に俺がお茶を入れよう。やっと。ちょっと待って。あの七里という少女、このものがたりに素晴らしい大断言をもたらしてくれた。うん。well, unfortunately, I did not get the Nali, but I did get that the illusion, the neon boy. So, small victories, small victories. Two out of three isn't bad. But, anyway. Ha! Huh. There is a lot to cover. Well, I guys, well, guys and girls, I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, I hope you, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye.